Hi there. This is Katie with the channel Weather Shaman. Welcome if you're new and a big hello to my returning subscribers. Uh, today I have planned for you a calming, relaxing, healing, ASMR, Reiki, energy healing session that is going to be focusing on protecting your energy as an empath. Many of you watching this channel probably identify with being an empath or a highly sensitive individual, which means we easily absorb or take on the energies of this world. And now during the times we're living in right now, we need to pay extra close attention to the energy we are allowing into our space and to really do everything we can to protect our sacred space and protect our energy field. So today's session is going to be focusing on strategies for protecting your energy field and I'm also going to be providing Reiki energy healing with protection crystals that I have with me to help strengthen your energy field during this time. First, I just want to take a moment to thank you all for your likes, your comments, your shares, and your subscribes, as it really helps keep this Weather Shaman YouTube channel going. I really feel a strong sense of communi community building, and it's an amazing thing. And I want to thank you all for your donations, as that also keeps the Weather Shaman YouTube channel going. If you wish to donate, you may do so by clicking the PayPal link in the description box of this video below. You can also find me on the Tingles app. I will leave the link to my Tingles profile below as well. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me, you can email me at weathershaman1111 at gmail.com. I'll have a list of all the services that I offer in the description box below. Okay, now with all of that said, let's go ahead and get started with clearing your energy field and getting rid of any negativity from your day by starting with the sacred lavender sage bundle, a very powerful cleansing tool used by shamans, Native Americans, and other indigenous tribes around the world. What I'm gonna do is go around your head over the top of your crown chakra to clear your head of any thoughts that may no longer be serving you. Next, I'm going to send Reiki symbols that I've been attuned to through the camera across time and space help bring forth physical healing, mental healing, spiritual healing, and emotional healing. Just let this sage and the birds singing in the background. Relax and soothe your mind. you're clairsentient, you may be able to smell the sacred lavender sage bundle as it burns.
you don't already have sage or cedar or palo santo, it's worth investing in this so you can light the tip each night and kind of just gently move it around your energy field to brush off any negativity from your day like this. And you can also move the sage bundle in a circular motion like this, starting around the top of your head, down to your third eye, then to your throat, then to your heart chakra, your solar plexus chakra, your sacral chakra, and then your root chakra. And this just helps clear and balance your energy field. And it's just really relaxing and soothing at the end of a long, difficult day. Okay, now I wish to share with you some other tactics to protect your energy at this time with everything that's going on around the world. It's important that we take a time out for ourselves to commune with God, the universe, or the higher power of your understanding for strength. Be sure to give yourself permission to take a time out from others and take breaks from social media. Okay, I have this book with me called The Empath's Survival Guide by Judith Orloff, MD. She's a doctor. And if you have this book, you can follow along with me on page 42. It says, Self-Protection for Empaths, 14 Strategies to Combat Toxic Energy. Strategy 1. Ask yourself, is this symptom or emotion mine or someone else's? Strategy 2. Breathe in and repeat a mantra of your choice. When negativity strikes, immediately focus on your breath for a few minutes. Slowly and deeply inhale and exhale to expel the uncomfortable energy. Breathing circulates negativity out of your body. Holding the breath and breathing shallowly keeps negativity stuck inside of you. So as you breathe deeply, I also suggest repeating this mantra aloud three times in a tone that conveys that you mean what you're saying. Return to sender. Return to sender. Return to sender. This way, we're returning any unwelcome energy back to the original sender, and we are saying no to allowing it in our space. Strategy three says, step away from what's disturbing you. Strategy four, limit physical contact. Hugs are a choice. So you can hug somebody if you really sincerely choose to and you feel it in your heart and it will bring you joy and the other person joy, but if you feel pressured and uncomfortable, you don't have to do it. Strategy five, detox in water. Water's a very healing element. I actually did that yesterday. I went down to the riverside and just put my feet in the running water and allowed it to detox my energy field, and I was in the sun sunbathing, and it was just wonderful. Strategy six, set limits and boundaries. Strategy seven, visualize cutting a cord between you and the other person. Strategy eight, plan alone time to regroup. It's important that we have alone time once in a while to recharge our batteries. For me, I need to take time out to myself for at least an hour every single day, uh, especially for empaths since we're highly sensitive people and we feel energy so intensely 
it's important that we take a time out from any distractions and just go outside in nature and just recharge. And that's strategy nine. Spend time in nature and practice earthing. Okay, take off your shoes, walk around barefoot, or play with some potted plants. I have some cucumbers right here. that I am about to take out of these pots and mix with some soil and start growing in this planter. And this can be a wonderful earthing exercise, growing your own vegetables. My friend Mike is teaching me how to grow vegetables, so I'm really excited because I've never done this before. <laughs> and I have some pea plants behind me. So this can be really earthing or grounding, putting your hand in soil this can really help send negative ions to your body, which recharges your bioelectric circuit. So what are some plants or vegetables you could grow this spring? And then watch them each day as they grow into your own harvest of fresh vegetables. Okay, so spend some time plugging back in with nature or Mother Earth. And strategy 10, get plenty of sleep and take power naps. Okay, so be sure you're getting plenty of rest since when you get plenty of rest and sleep, this helps strengthen your energetic body, okay? Strategy 11, take breaks from being online. Okay, yes, yeah, so unplug from social media or the internet. Put your plane, put your plane, put your phone on airplane mode or just turn it off for an hour or two each day if you can. Set it aside and just take time to tune into yourself. Check in with yourself, see how you're doing and reconnect with your intuition, your inner voice. And also, strategy 12, if you're traveling, be sure that you're regularly cleansing your energetic space, okay? And strategy 13, practice the three minute heart meditation. Basically just taking three minutes out of your day to reconnect with your heart space or mother earth or nature. The color green is a very powerful heart frequency energy. For me, that's just me connecting with plants like these. Since green is the color of the Anahata heart chakra and this helps us reconnect with our own heart centers and the heartbeat of Mother Earth. And finally, strategy 14 reminds us to be fully present in your body, okay? So mindfulness meditation is a wonderful way that we can do this. Uh, I have found that adult coloring books Sudoku, crossword puzzles, word searches are a wonderful way to start with mindfulness meditation. And then you can work your way up to hanging out with some plants like I do and just focusing on all the details of all the little intricate designs on the leaves. Just really taking time to be present and one with all the nature that surrounds you listening to the birds, watching the squirrels climb around on the tree branches. Another mindfulness meditation technique that's wonderful is gazing into a flame. And I brought this positivity, frequency, soy candle out with me with the intention of raising your vibration raising your frequency to that of positivity, happiness, joyousness, and freedom. So I'm going to light the candle. Now, this candle is made with lemon, 
orange, lemongrass, rosemary, and clove bud. Very high vibrational candle. So just take a moment to gaze into the flame. Let this be a mindfulness meditation to help you to fully engage and be in the present moment. Let your mind drift and let any thoughts that may be in your mind just drift away like clouds. Let this flame transmute any negativity that may still be in your space into perfect positivity, harmony, balance, and alignment. Let this flame also remind you of the divine spark you carry within. And let it remind you of the power of alchemy. We all have the power to transmute anything. We all have the innate ability to transmute negative, experiences into positive ones. It's all about making the best out of the worst. So look for the light in each given situation. Look for the spark of hope in any dark, heavy situation for there's always hope and there's always positivity. Okay next thing that I wish to share with you, uh, first I just want to thank my friend Alice. She's the one who lent me this book, The Empath Survival Guide. So thank you Alice so much. This book has been super helpful. Shout out. And I want to share with you this really cool Tai Chi statue that I received as a gift from my friend Dale at Earth Star Spiritual Center in Greensboro. Thank you, Dale. The reason why I love this statue so much is because it's all about learning how to block energy that no longer serves us or that is not beneficial to us so that we can keep pushing and moving ahead with our sole purpose and divine mission here on Earth. So it's all about blocking out lower energy that doesn't serve us so that we can move forward, push forward into a positive new light. So what are some things in your everyday life that you can begin tuning out and pushing aside so that you can rise up above any negative circumstances, rise in your power, and start embodying and surrounding yourself with more positivity? Now is the time to tune out the news and media to the best of our ability since there's a lot, a lot of fear being spread unnecessarily and in large amounts. So be sure you're being careful of what you're feeding your ears, your eyes, your body, and your soul at this time. So push away any negativity to allow more room and space for positivity so you can push forward through any given experience. So this is the statue. It's really cool. What we focus on grows. So be sure you're focusing on that which you wish to create and that which you wish to have in your reality. We are all very powerful manifestors. So the more we focus on global peace, global healing, and solutions to this crisis, the more quickly we will all begin to heal together as one and create a new earth, one that is filled with unconditional love, harmony, equality, and better treatment of mankind. Okay, now I have with me a very powerful protection crystal that's called black tourmaline. Black tourmaline is one of the most powerful protection crystals that I have worked with. It also blocks electromagnetic frequencies or EMFs from wireless technologies that can be detrimental to our health. 
So black tourmaline is wonderful to place in your refrigerator, around your computers or laptops. And you can also just put it by your doorways to protect any bad energy from the outside elements. Or you can have it near your bedside to protect you from bad dreams. But all in all, it's a really wonderful protection stone for empaths. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send some of this black tourmaline protection, love energy, across time and space using my projective right hand and envisioning Reiki symbols I've been attuned to through this crystal from me to you to add a bubble of protection around your energetic space. You can just sit back, relax, and close your eyes and listen to the birds in the background. Now another crystal that's wonderful for protection is amethyst. Amethyst is a wonderful alchemy stone. It helps us to have a stronger ability to transmute negativity into positivity. You can see all the beautiful light within this crystal shining. It's beautiful. It makes me think of Saint Germain and the violet flame. The hottest part of the candle or flame is that purple area, and that's where we transmute darkness into light. That's where we transmute disease and sickness into perfect health and harmony. So, amethyst also is wonderful for helping us to connect with our higher power of our understanding it welcomes more divine protection from our angels, God, the universe just a wonderful beautiful stone to look at too it resonates with the crown chakra just above our heads so it helps open up our divine channel for increased intuition increased divine communication and guidance as to how to go about and do the next right thing during the times of uncertainty that we're living in. So I'm going to send some amethyst crystal energy from me to you. Close your eyes if you wish. Now just take a moment to look at all of the beautiful amethyst crystals. Let this relax and soothe your mind and add a layer of hope to whatever's going on in your life right now. And remember this too shall pass. And remember to give yourself permission to take a time out from everybody Just self-soothe, take a nice bubble bath, an extra long hot shower, chill outside in nature under a tree or get some plants and bring them into your home. Reconnect with your heart space and with Mother Earth. Listen to some relaxing music in the background in your home. Let it play while you're cooking. Cooking can be a wonderful form of meditation as well and gardening, and planting, and reading. Okay. Now, 
have my selenite wand with me to balance and align all of your chakra energy centers. Starting with your crown chakra around the top of your head and working my way down all the way down to your root chakra to increase your vibrational frequency and balance and align all of your energy centers so your body can work more harmoniously together as one system. So you can just sit back, relax, and enjoy. your energy field feels lighter. And hopefully you feel more relaxed and at ease and rest assured that you are safe, you are protected, and you are loved. Okay. Selenite is also a wonderful healing crystal that really helps strengthen our level of protection because it increases our vibrational frequency, it moves our vibes way, way up, and the higher our vibrational state is, the more we're going to naturally repel negative, lower vibrational energy. So do everything you can to keep your vibes way, way up right now, eating a healthy plant-based diet drinking plenty of alkaline spring water, investing in some sage, taking naps, getting plenty of rest, practicing meditation, watching ASMR Reiki videos, planting some vegetables and reconnecting with Mother Earth. Putting on some nature sounds, meditation music in the background of your home, giving yourself permission to take a time out from others. I'm sending you an abundance of peace, love, and light from me to you. Go forth in perfect love, peace, balance, harmony, and alignment. 
Namaste.